Is that a real thing that just happened? We are out of control here. Hello, is this working? Anybody here? Well, I am. Harry, I didn't know if you would still be around. Seems neither Cassandra or Joseph are here. Oh, did you really expect otherwise? I don't know, somehow. Oh, that's his address, Gunther's. That portobello, shit. Who are you? A fool who is baffled by the madness he just witnessed. Otherwise, initiate. Well, glad you decided to join us. That's completely unintended. What do you mean? You're in the call, aren't you? Yeah, I'm also in Orwell. In Orwell? Abe sent me an IP address to get into Orwell. It makes hacking the damn thing incredibly easy. He did what? And that worked? Like a charm. I now kind of control the damn thing. It's really, really worrying. Come again? You have Orwell on a freaking leash? Fucking great. How does that worry you? My control is limited and the government will get control back at some point, but this isn't my primary concern. What makes me nervous is why would Abraham have such extensive, extensive knowledge of Orwell? This whole thing reeks of an enormous trap. And this is the point where it gets even worse. I had a quick look at his file. You would not believe what it says. The terminal cancer thing. Abraham is dead. He died quite some time ago. Dead? No. Abraham how? He was very sick. Cancer. Oh, you old fool. Why couldn't you tell us? He gave Nina the orders for the bombings after his demise, which means he didn't really do it. This means... This means someone's been setting her up real bad. And not only her, all of us. Who the fuck would do such a thing? I'm not getting info on who or why. What a pity. But it does prove my point. Wait, what do you mean, Jules? It was me! I set you up. Whoa, what? Wait a sec, I can't fucking believe where this is going. Are you for real? Hey, are you telling me you told Nina to place those bombs? I did. I'm not proud of it, but it had to be done. What the hell? Why? You and Nina, you two ruined everything for Abraham and for Thought. So you decided that leaving me wasn't enough for revenge? You had to kill innocent fucking people and blame it on all of thought? It was necessary. Only when things are at their darkest will people listen, take note, and actually enact change. Abe knew that. I know it was extreme. Extreme? It's goddamn murder. I know, damn it. Believe me, I know. Your actions really screwed the members of thought. Screwed them real good. Most of all, Nina. How can you justify that? What you did to all of this... Good thing is, Nina's alive. <laughs> Thought needed to be destroyed. That was the whole point of its formation. Instead of seeking me out and arresting me, Orwell labeled you all target persons and investigated you all, screwed up your lives. People need to see how fucked up Orwell is. It's not protection, it's invasive and manipulative doom for everyone. No one is innocent, everyone's a suspect. Abe wanted to make the world stand up against things like Orwell. He knew how dangerous the project was, that's why he worked on it. He did what? He worked on Orwell? This confirmed what I feared, but I didn't want to believe it. If so, he could have gone to the media and make it all public, couldn't he? He was afraid. He thought nothing would ever change if he did. Can you blame him? He told me everything, and only me. Huh. <laughs> Funny. I just realized you're actually a much better, yet much worse activist than Nina or me ever could be. That's admirable, in a strange and very fucked up way. I still don't get it. Why draw all of this attention to thought? You didn't convince anyone by your actions. Why this gathering? Why let me hack Orwell? I just need to convince one person how faulty Orwell was. Costigan, the guy Harry leaked information about, was the man on the inside. Only an advisor. Person who's really been spying on you is still around. That's me. The person who actually went through your stuff passed on the data. The one listening right now, the investigator. That's right. I'm talking to you! I knew it had to be around when, when everyone would come together. You had to be listening. Initiate was just a windfall. A chance to make sure you'd not immediately go up against us. Investigator, I have a question for you. Now that you saw Orwell firsthand. Do you really think that this system will help anyone? Did you think the government would not spy on you as well? Did you think you were outside the system? Think again. They evaluate even you. Abe knew that. He saw the madness. They evaluate even you, the investigators. But we can stop it. You can. Remember, you became recruited for being outside of the system. Outside of the nation. What if we show the people what they store about you? 
that even you are not outside the system, that no one is outside of the system. All you need to do, investigator, is upload the data they have on you, incriminating yourself. This so, so mind-bogglingly stupid, Jules. <laughs> Why would the investigator cooperate? The government will come after them. That's exactly the point. This evaluation is supposed to be a safety net so that no one misuses Orwell. Acting on evidence is mandatory. If the investigator incriminates themselves, they will be forced to prosecute them and reveal this evidence that the investigators are actually being spied on well publicly. That is absolutely mad. I don't see this working. I would like to offer an alternative investigator. It just so happens that a certain Catherine Delacroix is in this files too. I say we make use of the fact that we have control over Orwell. Let's use it as a weapon and turn it against the government. There's something dirty to be found about Mrs. Delacroix for sure. Let them act on that evidence. Now we're talking. No, hurting Delacroix won't help much. She's just gonna get replaced. This isn't the right way. Oh yeah, and fucking us all up was the right way then? Bullshit. But how can we trust this investigator to help us? What the hell? How did they find- fuck. Harrison? What's going on? Yeah! I think we fucking got him. Interesting, because it's not really his fault, but still. Seems to just fell prey to the great surveillance system. It's just to the two of us, it seems. Well, my plan to gather support for you failed, investigator. But, if you still want to fulfill my plan, go on and give Delacroix hell. You will find something dirty. Investigator, it's time to make up your mind. You can tear down the entire system. Just complete my plan, please. I will turn Delacroix into a target person. I think I can easily activate access to her PC for you as well. When Abraham stopped his work for the Rosen and the government, he cloned all information he had and hid it in the office. He told me and I maintained it. The system is programmed to boot itself again in a couple of minutes. You'll have access to everything. You just need to find the UID of the device. I cannot tell you here now that Orwell isn't tracking data chunks. He cloned all information, hid it in the office. He told me and I maintained it. I have full understanding if you judge and incriminate me for what I've done. I think I deserve it. It's up to you now, investigator. Do the right thing! Fuck! What is this? Finally, I thought this disturbance would never end. The back-end engineers say we've had an unwanted guest. We already know about that it was thought. It's about time to undo them. We must be strong. We must show these people for what they are. The nation's safety is depending on it. Find a way to incriminate them together as a group. All we need is a hint that Abraham Goldfels intended this group to carry out terrorist actions. We could trace the attack back to a remote PC. I'll now manually unlock this PC for you. <laughs> oh. This is intense. See, as advanced as Oral might be, it won't gather much from a switched off PC. Goodbye, investigator. Soon you might find yourself in a position where you're wishing you'd listen to my warnings. Fuck. Look at all this. New surveillance system according to Winston, crowdsourced. Observe the whole web. Addresses. Possible intrusion point. Two firewalls there. Benjamin Costigan. What's an investigator? Fuck, got booted out hard. Don't try this IP again, might be tracing me. The arrest. Suspect was found alone at Orchard Drive, working on his laptop, which was connected to a public Wi-Fi hotspot. When the suspect noticed our attempt, our arrival, he attempted to, to flee, I guess, but was quickly cornered by officers in pursuit. He complied and offered no resistance. Cassandra. Mostly harmless. Arrested? Abraham. Need to visit him at Rosen. I need to know what he does. He, what, he really was there. Didn't recognize me, though. What's he doing in there? What the hell became of him? Save protocol. Hey, Winston. In contact with this Winston. What's up, my man? So you hear about the bombings? Yeah, it was on the news even here. What about it? I've been doing research. I know some peeps who might be behind it. What? I spoke to them. Claim they suspect the government. So two possibilities exist. Those people are trying to bullshit me big time. Or there's more to it. I need to exclude the latter. You wouldn't know anything about ongoings with the nation's gov, would you? Actually, I might. There's this rumor. What rumor? A friend of mine claims to know a guy going by the name of X2, I think, who got recruited by the government. Recruited? For what? For a system calls called Orwell. Orwell, like the author? 
yeah, just like him. It's pretty vague what it can actually do, but everything points at crowdsourced surveillance of the web as a whole. They recruit everyday peeps for this outside of the nation. Super hush hush. What? You sure? Assume the worst. Why didn't you tell me earlier, man? Like I said, not all. Uh, not sure. All pretty vague. Just on the grapevine. Now, where's the connection to the Bonton bombings? Well, system entered a test phase on April 13th. Ring a bell? Holy crap. Holy crap indeed. Anything else? Not for now. I'll try to get you more info. Thanks, man. I owe you. Hell yeah, you do. Let's see if we get any links to this Winston. Okay. Goldfells, please don't do this. My friend, I do appreciate your worries, and I understand them. I too have considered this endlessly, but the result of this consideration can only be to intervene. Yeah, but I don't get it. Intervene with what? Why don't you tell me? I can't risk telling you, not now. I'll be placed at Rosentech, that's all I can say. I'll be placed. This very government has deprived me of the chance for a better future, a future with my sister, here. And I will not stand idly by while the most sane, intelligent person I know makes such a dick move to become corrupted by the government. The opportunity to have such an impact on our common future will only come once in a lifetime. I need you to understand this. Bullshit. We can always do something about the government. You find some followers, build a group, gain followers, just like me. Start a guerrilla war. Think through what you're saying. Consider the chain of events this will set in motion. I found a cell for this guerrilla war. Then I will recruit members, call to arms, then we will start acting, even bombings possibly, to kill. They will increase security measures, nothing gets better. I've had it, you're making up excuses, you aren't better than anyone else, this is about money, nothing else. Don't be ridiculous. It's the last time we speak, I'll no longer read your blog, I'll no longer comment, no longer care, I will be gone, poof. Very well, I understand. You were young, you were fiery. And it is okay if you do not support the actions of a stupid old man. I would not act differently, I suppose. Maybe it is time to part ways then. It is. Hope you'll achieve everything you want eventually by peaceful means, and you'll live you'll be able to live life freely. You'll always be the one to initiate my thoughts with your regular comments to my posts. At the very least this will remain. Goodbye. <sighs> this does not conflict with anything. This gives the information that Delacroix wants. And he even says, even bombings possibly to kill. We don't have dates, but let's see what else is here. Big Brother. Oh, he's from Cape Town. Sawubona. Um, Fowethu. Knock, knock, big brother. How's life in the nation? Is it still as sprawling as the last time you sent me a letter? I sure hope so. I finally got into unsecured Wi-Fi network from one of the houses across the street, so no more running around searching for a spot. First thing I'm going to do is send you an email, of course. Big brother, I know you're still so determined to get me to the nation. I'm writing this email to let you know that I'm fine here. We just saw a reference to his sister, right? So, maybe our hometown... Our home in Cape Town isn't a house in Bonton, and of course I miss you dearly, but don't waste your life on this. You took the chance to get out of here, and now you have every right to. And you had every right to. How should you have foreseen the security bill, or what, however it was named? You couldn't. I know this made you stupid. I know you made this stupid promise to come and get me. Forget about it. I release you. Instead, promise me something else. To put your anger aside and live your life, please. By the way, your old laptop is fine. In fact, I'm typing this very email on it. Remember the endless hours we sat in front of that tiny broken screen and you would show me how to operate it, but mostly we would play this ancient version of Battleship that showed nothing but grids and circles and crosses? Hey, why don't we play around via email, huh? Put up your ships, don't read further. I start, D2, did I hit? I'm looking forward to your answer, big brother. Interesting. <sighs> and you would think, like, where it says big brother, you're not thinking, like, sister brother, you know? Nina. This is just, I like how he's just got these little notes. Real sweetie, angry, 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 need to check in her and her soldier, had a kid, Michael, don't think she's behind this. Which is a lot of relief, because uh, I heard that the other option of to, like, reporting her on time, which I screwed up, apparently, uh, she dies. So, the fact that she's not dead, that's a good sign, because she's kind of absolved of all of this. 
Joseph, no idea who this guy is. Juliet, works at Rosen, coincidence, seems to have organized peaceful protests. X of Harrison. Bit too shy, maybe hiding something. I should get around to talking to her sometime. And then Rosen internship. We hereby confirm that Mr. Themba ba Van Biljon was placed as an intern at Rosen Technologies from here to here. Worked in the division of in-house security. The assignment of the internship is completed. Holy shit, we've got a name. We have another document from this. Now, I'm still holding on to this. See what happens. Intern information. Boom. That's initiate. Who can guess them? I wonder what that means. We've read through all of these. The only thing... Uh, actually... Wait, I wonder what happens now... If I upload some of these other things. What was the address of Gunther here? 22 Portobello, which is where she's been. It's not gonna matter now, though. I don't think... I don't think this matters anymore. I really don't think any of these matter. Because nothing, I don't think, is being actively tracked anymore. We can upload the extra photos, I guess, that we found. I guess we can upload the fact that this guy worked there too. Another related doc, okay. Demiurge, we've heard this before. Fuck, where did we hear about Demiurge from? Demiurge, 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 where is that? We've heard about that. Another document. Entry four, flawed. Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer quoted for the when he realized he made the nuclear bomb possible. For the first time, I feel I truly understand what he meant. I know it's impossible to stop progress. I thought I could change. I thought I could change what was coming, control the inevitable from within. I cannot. I made a mistake. I must quit at once. The only thing I can do is to seek redemption, so let this be my confession. I, Abraham Goldfels, developed the so-called Ethical Codex for a project codenamed Demiurge, which has been renamed to Orwell. Son of a bitch. And I have proof for everything. I'm about to write down, or I'm about to write clone to a device with the UID PC68334. Orwell is the most sinister project I can think of, a system to spy on every last citizen in the nation. My intention was to govern this highly invasive project by applying strong ethical constraints on what it can access and how that access is granted. I was given a lot of freedom in this regard, yet that was not enough. Seeing this thing, seeing this thing in action, I can only look at myself in disgust for being so naive that I ignored the danger that was staring me in the face. Even when the system is investigating targeted persons, it will jump from one individual to another, ultimately parsing all of their discretions and making everyone a target. Each test indicated one true fact. Nobody is innocent. And it's true, you could find dirt on literally anybody if you look hard enough and you have full access to everything. It's crazy. I feel the urge to run to the press, to give them conclusive evidence that Orwell exists. Yet I ask myself, 
Will it achieve anything? Just another news piece lost in the crowd, one that will be drowned out by the latest timeline scandal or whatever Rosen is eating for breakfast. I doubt I'll even have enough strength to leave this article live on the blog. Can't handle the shame of what I've done. I bet they'll start using the project against me, then others I'm connected to. It will be for the best if I can archive it, but I need to commit myself to words, even if they're just for myself. Yep. Come on, please be on. All these futile works. Come on. Trash. Nothing. Demiurge. Going right in. Uh, one, two, no three. Codex draft. This document is highly confidential. Author Goldfell's intention. Goal of this paper is to stipulate a set of mandatory guidelines to be implemented into the mechanics of the hard and software combination titled Demiurge. Said project is in development at Rosen Technologies as, as of the creation of this document. The intention of Demiurge is to allow the investigation of crimes and suspect individuals through online information. The very nature of this project demands for the inclusion and embedding of strict limitations in order to ensure the preservation of the privacy of said individuals and anyone related to them. The guideline stated herein shall serve this cause. Number two, the human elements. Oh wait, this is three here. 12A1 is one, 12A2 is actually three, okay. The use of human elements in the system shall serve the purpose of keeping the investigation impartial while at the same time keeping the powers of Vitus. This is about like the investigators and the advisors, I guess. Demiurge shall be operated by pairs of human ele elements, an advisor who will operate from within the system, and an investigator who shall be a client outside of the system or the nation. The advisor shall be an employee of the government. Their duty shall include advising the investigator as well as drawing conclusions or requesting action. Considering a person as a target person, or example, considering a person as a target person. To this end, the advisor may communicate directly with the investigator. The investigator shall be a citizen outside the nation to reach the utmost impartiality. The investigator must not be able to communicate with the advisor to prevent power misuse. Seems like he did really want to like, have this be safe. Restriction of discovery. This, uh, the discovery of new documents shall be restricted to those on which a target person can be identified beyond any doubt and similar data to the already contained can be detected. The investigator must be prohibited from browsing the web freely, even from public pages. There, seem, there shall be no distinction between public documents and privately accessible ones. Conclusion. Based on the guidelines proposed in two guidelines, uh, we conclude that ethical surveillance is possible. How can I write this? This is absurd. Mark does to do. <laughs> oh, shit. What's this? Demiurge authorization key? Uh-oh. Private. Save protocol, Julesy Carrington. I don't understand. Why did you never turn to the press with all this material we could have created the attention you wanted? No. No, we could not. Juliet, there's one thing I've learned out of all of this. People need to see the consequences before they ever learn. They must experience them firsthand, or at least see them affect someone they can relate to. Otherwise, it's all just an abstract concept. Are you suggesting Nina and Harry have been right all along? You can't possibly mean that. In a way, they have been, yes. Not necessarily about violence or scaring people, only consequence. Consequences that happen right before the eyes of the everyday person, not some report. An event that's going on while everyone is watching. How could we ever hope to achieve such an event? If I had an answer, I would have done it, Juliet. I will soon be hospitalized, Juliet. I can feel it. The sickness is getting worse with every passing day. To get up from my chair feels like a Herculean effort by now. We've tried, we've failed, we must accept this. People will eventually discover what madness this project is. All I ask is that you let go and get on with your life. Do not waste your time on this as I did. It is not of any worth. No, damn it. It's worth everything, every possible effort. Juliet, you've always regarded my advice. Listen to me in this case too, please. Get into Rosentech for an internship. Delete the backup of the data I stored there. Remove every trace I ever worked on this godforsaken project. Then quit. That is no place for you. Just walk away and do not tell anyone. I can't do what you asked for. How could I ever? You're the only one who believed in me, always. Not my friends, not my family, you alone. 
It's exactly why I'm talking to you about this, not to anyone else. It's the reason I'm asking you to give it a rest. Grant me peace in knowing everything will be alright for the rest of thought. Do it, please. Oh, shit. Okay. Papa. Papa, it's you, isn't it? Don't ask how I found you. It took me quite a while to figure you out. You hid in the traces very well, but I still managed to find some threads. What? Abraham Goldfels. So this is... Um... Because he, like, left Germany or whatever, right? Mine mail service. Uh... Dot D-E. So... Th his daughter found him. Um... I hope it was worth it. Leaving Mama, leaving me. What did we do to you? Was it just too much on you? Did you hate us? Do you hate me? Don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at you. Somehow I can't be. I'm certain you had your reasons. I just want an opportunity to understand them. I want to understand who my father really is, why he had to leave his wife and daughter all alone, struggling, crying, hoping every day that you would somehow return, explaining to my friends that my father was dead, then somehow I always... when somehow I always felt like he wasn't. I have no idea if you're interested in me, what I mean to you, if anything at all. I've attached a photo and I will tell you a little bit about me. I finished secondary school and I now attend Stuttgart University where I study journalism. I travel between Greiblingen and Stuttgart every day, even though it takes one and a half hours. I didn't want to move because of Mama. She's fine most of the time, but I'd rather not leave her all alone. Speaking of Mama, I haven't told her that I found you and I never will. She deserves some certainty though, some closure. Thought it shouldn't come from me, it needs to come from you. This is what she's been waiting for, hoping for, needing for so long now. Please redeem her. As you probably know, she's a kind spirit. She'll find it in her heart to forgive you. Who knows, after such a long time, she might even be happy again. This is one thing I ask of you. Do it for her. Ava. What was the date? February 4th, 2015. Make change... Make thought change direction. So this is Nina. Understood. Let's actually read this from the beginning. Wait. 659, 1042, 710. What? This is weird. So this is at 1022, where she replies to him after he sent this message at 659. But then... Same day at 10.42, like, after this one. Something's fucked up here. This, maybe this is a, um... Maybe this is supposed to be the 15th? Let's start down here. Nina, I suppose my message might come as a surprise to you after a long time of contemplation. This is yesterday. This is yesterday. What the frick? After a long time of contemplation, I've come to conclude that you were right when you said we must perform drastic actions to make ourselves be heard. You will probably remember that we talked about helping each other. As I see it, I've fulfilled my end of the bargain. The time to fulfill your end has come. I'm in need of your help. Let me know when you feel up to the task. Hey, but I thought you had left us. I even understood and come to terms with my own thoughts of why you had vanished. I was against your course of action, even though you've been trying to help me. There's... There's nothing to apologize for. If I can help in any way, I'm willing to hear your plan. Just one thing. If we do this, we must make it absolutely sure we're not- we are impossible to be tracked. I don't want any harm to come to my son. Is anyone else with us in this? Okay. We're on our own. Do not inform the other members of thought. Not about me. Not about the plan. They will not understand and just make our actions harder to obscure. Let them get on with their lives. This is my plan. From what you've told me, you're more than capable of building a bomb, are you not? Are these dates fucked up? Well, we need three of them. Place them at the most important places in town, right before the eyes of the public. Zero Freedom Plaza, at the Memorial, Stelligan University at the Central Courtyard, and finally the Circle Mall. They need to be somewhere where they cause substantial destruction. Hide them very well, or hide them well very well. Watch out that the CCTV doesn't spot you, especially at Freedom Plaza. For this occasion, I'll create a workaround to distract their eyes from you. Your temp working situation will be of use here, given that you have plenty of opportunities. You will manage. You'll have my utmost trust. Doing this will convince people surveillance is of no use and might cause a decent debate, or even the revolt we've been looking to incite. Finally, we might break the back of Delacroix, perhaps even the party in its entirety. It will be the public 
themselves who will protect us. The outcry against surveillance will be so strong it will obscure our actions. They will no longer be of interest. I will call upon you again, not via email, and tell you when to set and when to trigger the charges. Finally, confirm and erase all traces of this email. Never reply to this address again. Understood. I'm a bit concerned about these dates being a little bit messed up. This doesn't make any sense. It's saying that she sent this back in February. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fe okay, we're in February. I still don't understand the these times. So we sent this at 710 on the 16th. She replies at 10.42 on the 16th. Then on the 16th, he replies at 6.59, somehow, impossibly. Maybe this is supposed to be the 17th? Maybe this... I don't know, though. Notes. All right. March 2nd, April, October, January, May, August, November, February 2015. Okay, let's start here. March 2013. Today I started my work at Rosentech. I got assigned my own office in the main tower right on the top, right at the top on the 24th floor next to Victor Rosen himself. I've never felt so misplaced in my life, not even back in Greiblingen. Although, I was sure it could not possibly get any worse. It's like there are only youngsters here, rushing over the floors, buzzing in the cafeteria, occupying the elevators, all of them staring at me like I... Like I'm a recently unearthed dinosaur fossil. <laughs> what do I try to achieve here? The constant feeling of not being involved, though, is niggling at me. April. We had a presentation where I learned the basic project parameters of Demiurge. During the meeting, I got a panic attack and nearly had to vomit. I must have been paler than the sheet of paper outlining the conceptual details. The plans for the project are bereft of any ethics or common sense. It's nefarious. Nefarious is not even the word, it's sinister. They, that perfectly describes what Demiurge is. The software goes way beyond what I had feared in my worst nightmares. It's total observation of, well, everything. Without any user interaction required, and they want an ethical codex? Preposterous. I'm conflicted in what to think, how to feel about this. I thought I might be able to change the plans from within, restrict this thing. Frankly, if I had any confidence in my ability to change it all, well, that's gone by now. October. I might be in luck. The development team has had several or severe problems with the application of their recognition algorithm to automatically collect and interpret relevant data so far. There are too many conflicts, too many applicable meanings. If I play this card right, I might be able to convince the project's leader to consider the use of a human element to sort out the misinterpreted and irrelevant data, which in turn might make it at least a bit more humane. January. It worked. The use of the human element, referred to as an investigator, has been confirmed by the project's lead and even more importantly, the government itself. But now I've outlined the fundamentals of the codex. We will not use will we use not one, but two human elements. To give one human the full ability to do the research and at the same time draw conclusions is just too much power in one hand. Instead, power will be shared between said investigator and an advisor. The latter shall be a government employee on the inside. Uh, while it's crucial, the investigator is a person on the outside, so an unbiased opinion is heard. I cannot overstate how glad I am that the project lead will absolutely... The project lead is absolutely willing to follow my advice. Okay. May. During the break in Rosen's cafeteria, I noticed a young man observing me closely. This initiate, I think. Uh, from across the room for nearly 15 minutes, again and again, when he thought I wasn't noticing. Intrigued and having finished my lunch, I walked over to his table where he sat with a colleague. I asked, I think politely enough, to join in, and they obliged, but the same man that had so intensively been staring me down before now looked a bit intimidated. We talked a bit about the projects we worked on, to which I had to make up something harmless enough, and he declared to be a student on the internship for in-house security. I don't remember how it actually happened, but somehow we came to discuss, discuss ethics, and I swear for a second this young fellow could read my mind. The way he talked, how he reasoned, left a big impression on me. Unfortunately, I had to quit the lively chatter before I could ask for his name. Damn be my recently whimsical digestive system. I'll not eat in the cafeteria again. 
And obviously what he's saying resonated because he's been following him on the blog, I think, right? So... Uh... What were the dates of the blog? This is May 2014. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This goes back as far as March 2012, so... So that was May? Yeah. August. I've been working on separate persons of interest from those who... Uh, those only appearing in relation. Searching for new source documents shall be restricted to where such target persons appear. Only after thorough consideration by the advisor and the administrative staff can a person be considered a target. This should reduce the damage done to privacy to an absolute minimum. On a side note, I am having a hard time focusing on work with stomach pains like this. I should visit a doctor. This is starting to happen regularly. And this is what leads to his cancer, I guess. Um... Same one. The development team has conducted a first test in a fictitious setting. The results have been disillusioning, devastating. What have I done? How could I have ever thought this was a good thing when in truth I have helped opening Pandora's box? The investigator somehow managed to convince the advisor that every single person in the test was suspicious. They turned all of them into target persons by bending the truth to his liking, which is, we've kind of seen that, right? Like, even um, Symes and Catherine Delacroix have both kind of said, like, you need to find evidence that this person's guilty and upload that. You know what I mean? They spied on all of their documents. Persons became labeled without looking at the full picture, without seeing the human being. Nothing works as it was supposed to. To make things even worse, they introduced a third human element element to oversee they call it evaluation the other to oversee the other two oh i see to oversee they call it evaluation the other two and make sure the investigator and advisors don't misuse their powers well who's that that's got to i don't know is that catherine this defies the whole purpose of using two elements there are no ethics in this black hole only a boot stamping on a human face forever oh damn this blindness this naivety of mine this must they must reconsider they must ah that's me! Ah! Where do I even upload this? Where's Symes? Unknown person, maybe? Oh no, that's not Symes. Amy Peters. Wrong profile. That's his wife. I don't have a profile for us. What in the shit? This is bizarre. Delacroix is linked to something. We can't see what. See how she continues upwards? <sighs> Holy shit. I'm at the end. I have had my share. I cannot continue the work. My consciousness got the better of me. My consciousness? Alright. Uh, especially regarding my circumstance. When I argued with the project lead how Demiurge allowed for massive manipulation, the unrestricted mass surveillance that my ethical codex could easily be circumvented, how Orwellian this bending of the truth was, that some, everything the investigator considered true became true, he just laughed. He laughed and said what a terrific name Orwell would have be for the system. People would assume surveillance and safety with a name like that. I could not believe it. Are they even going to use Orwell's name out of context and give it a new one? The on this only proves that they have not understood a thing that they never, or that they will never. I have to make it stop in another way. It's not going to work from the inside. The people must learn the truth about this madness. Unfortunately, I cannot take anything with me. The checks in the lobby are too strict. It's crucial to undo any trace that might lead to me, or else I'll fall prey to my own abomination. The only thing possible is cloning my entire PC onto a drive, which then must remain here, hidden somewhere. Perhaps I'll find a way to retrieve it later. I don't know how much time there is for me. I wish there was more. Holy shit. So 
So... I wonder if I should upload this stuff now or if it even matters. I don't think it does. Carrington, this may have helped us earlier based on what we know now, but... Nice, nice, nice! Flushing things out. A night to remember. Dixon posted this one. Okay. Our protest at Stelligan was a lively gathering of open-minded people, students, teachers, professors, and others formed a bright and colorful crowd. I've got to admit, is there anything in here? Oh, yeah. All right. I've got to admit, when Abraham asked me to join Thought, I wasn't sure what to think of it. Join an activist group? That's not a thing for me. Sure, not everything is fine, but organizing protests in the street? Isn't that a bit much? Oh, look how far you've come. But I knew Abraham as he was my professor for media ethics at Stelligan, and so I trusted him. I said yes. But it wouldn't stop there. Harrison and Nina left the event planning to me. Me, who had never done anything close to this before. Whew, pretty scary task, as both Abraham and I were closely tied to Stelligan University. My suggestion was to organize a peaceful protest there, slowly raise awareness among the students. They would most likely be more open-minded, uh, prone to question the authority and government, wouldn't they? Indeed, the protest went off without a hitch. Stelligan's president even permitted us to hold the protest on campus grounds, and close to 100 students, provided I didn't miscount, participated, uh, many of them just joining in as they were walking by and wanted to know more. There was no conflict, no fear, just support. People were still talking about it a week later in the halls of Stelligan, and for me personally, it turned out to be a night to remember. So Hancock replies and says, let me say the most important things first. You did great. That's why we chose you for this. You even thought of making sure everything could get home after the pro everyone could get home after the protest by organizing an extra bus. Anyway, I already got an idea for what's next. Take things out in the streets, literally. Not the university streets, more like the street streets. Think you can help us organize that as well? Thanks, Harry. After this, I'm confident I might be able to organize something bigger for next time. The streets are probably not the best choice. Too unsafe, but I'll come up with something. Concerned one. Juliet, I don't want to offend you. You're new and you did a good job, but this simply isn't enough. Our petty protest doesn't matter on a national scale. That's the simple truth. With a, with a pace like this, the government will have erected the oppressive machinery before we even get to the streets. Now, uh, concerned one... ...is... Is that, uh... ...initiate? No. Oh! Yeah, it's Nina. So she's already pretty riled up here, but... April 12th, 2016. Nina. Yeah, it even says here. You know, I think likewise, and in the end, you're right. Uh, one next thing... Our next thing will be much bigger. We'll make the news for sure, but we need to be smart about it. Smart like Julesy. That's why I want her to plan the next thing as well. I understand you, Nina. I'll do my best to get things right and safe. At the moment, I'm thinking Freedom Plaza. Pretty much everything we need space-wise. Would that be okay for everyone? Jesus. Oh, you know what? We can go into her profile. April, last login, December. Oh, we can also upload his portrait, I guess. Okay, so there's no other articles. She might be in there, like, destroying the the information. There's a bunch of stuff computer-wise. I don't, I don't know where to upload this to is the problem. Maybe we have to disable this. I don't know. I'm curious if it acts like if it would link with something. Hmm. I, 
think this is the one we got to go with here. It seems to be the biggest outstanding issue. But I wonder if we shouldn't upload some of this other stuff just because we can. It's not going to hurt uploading this. It's not counting towards any data chunks or anything, so whatever. Juliet. So peaceful, planning your bombings. Your protests. I don't think this stuff matters now, especially now that he's been arrested, but... I don't think it hurts at this point. So we've got this one. We've got this, but like I can't upload anything. So maybe the other one will unlock that. I just want to be as thorough as I can. Ghosting. I guess we could upload this now that him and Marka split up. It's really not important. I don't think. Yeah, so it's got to take us to this one. <sighs> Gunther. Oh, shit. Two plus two equals five. Delacroix revealed evidence against thought founder activist group Gunther. With a successful investigation in the Bonton bombing case, the government has announced to advance the Orwell project to full operation. Oh, God. Please cracks down. There's Juliet. Investigator wanted for arrest. That's me. Oh, no. Look at all this. Disobedient! What the fuck? Superior. <laughs> Please. The government has declared the investigator entangled with this activist group, Thought is wanted for immediate arrest. So far, it remains unknown whether the home country of the investigator will comply to the extradition request. It is presumed that the government will likely will leave no stone unturned to get hold of the investigator, who is likely to be in possession of insider information on the surveillance project known as Orwell. They're scared. This is presumed to mark the end of a case known as the Bonton bombings. Experts suggest that after the troubled events of the recent week, the nation and its citizens will finally find some long overdue peace and quiet. I can't go into anything else. <laughs> oh shit. What if I disable this? So we can pick the pictures that we want to represent. I didn't even know that. I can't like force log out or anything. Oh, shit. Doesn't look like I have a choice. Not good. They're coming for us. Damn. Oh, that's so intense. What an awesome game. 
Frick! Yes, Orwell. Yes! I love shit like that. That is like... That is awesome. We knew that it was gonna come back to us at some point. Right? We started to see that, like, everything was being linked together. Um... And he here's the thing. I don't know if at the end where we went into Catherine's computer and it got shut down, like, I'm not sure... Had we done things differently, if that would matter, really? Maybe. But, um, you know, the government used us, we got all this information, and now the government turns on us. And the question is, like, do you support the government, do you support the radicals, do you support, you know? There's no excuse for bombing people, to get attention or whatever, like, that's ridiculous. Um, but it obviously does challenge you in your thinking and, like, mass surveillance, especially just with the way that the world is right now, and, like, you know, you can see pros and cons. You can see a lot of pros and cons. Do the pros outweigh the cons? That's the th that's the question, right? And like with all the stuff um, from Snowden over the past few years, uh, WikiLeaks and all of those different groups, like it's really scary. It's really scary what people can find out about you and what the government specifically can do with that kind of control. And if you don't have the regulations in place, if you don't have the... Even like you saw Abraham trying to come up with all these different regulations, but he's like, there's no way, this is fucking terrible. There's no way this works, you know? And uh, I tend to agree with him in that sense. That it's like, you would just... It's too much for one person. And then it kind of goes to show too, like, at the end here, um, now that it's like, oh yeah, well, this odd guy, who's the actual investigator, he's got insider information on Orwell, he's screwed! Government's gonna just take this guy out, right? And then it kind of like gets you back to thinking about what Harrison would say, where it's like, this is all the government, they've planned all of this, they've done this, they're attacking their own people. If you think about like the 9-11 uh, conspiracy theories where it's like, oh, the government did this and that, and it's crazy! You know, but when you see stuff like this, it does, it just challenges the way that you think about it. And, uh, challenges the way that you think about your personal information and what you put out there for people to see and what people can see. It's scary, man. It's very scary. And, uh, Orwell, great frickin' job. I haven't played a game like this in a long time. This is, like, one of my favorite games that I've played this year. And, uh... It's so, it's such a simple approach, right? It's so, like, very straightforward that you're just, like, uploading these data chunks. And when somebody first explained this game to me, they're like, Oh, it's just a game where you read stuff, and then, like, once something gets highlighted, you just upload it and you just keep reading. But, like, it's so much more than that. You know, it's really challenging. Really challenging your thoughts. Can I log back in? No. Let's see what happens if we can log back in here. Um, yeah, this is... I, I just like when a game really, really makes you think. And Orwell has, has done that. It's a shame that not as many people are giving this a shot as, like, giant AAA titles because... This is unique, you know? And I haven't seen anything like this in the past. And you could argue that it's like... You know, it's kind of like the Telltale choices. Um, like The Walking Dead and stuff like that. Um, you can compare it to a smaller game like Her Story, but it's very different from that too. Um, oh, it's so cool. I'd, I would love if it would show you afterwards, like, the choices that you made compared to others, kind of like the Telltale group does. But it um, doesn't appear that that's the case. I'm really curious about logging back in here, though. And if that's going to do anything for us. I wonder if it's like, intruder detected, shuts down your whole computer. There was a time there where it was like glitching out, and my computer actually hang, like hung, and I was like, whoa. Wait, what? The hell? Oh, it just plays the ending again. Delacroix revealed against terrorist thought founder. Uh, activist group declared a terrorist union. Fuck, so Orwell wins, man. It's crazy! Alright, so it just plays the ending again. Cool. 
Juliet's caught. All right. Well, guys, let me know what you think. I'm really, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts um, and how things worked out differently for you. Hey, wait, did we see this? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Zero data chunk upload remaining. Investigator wanted for arrest, but I can't go into it. It's like I don't have access anymore. The party people, something about Delacroix probably. Notable alumni is updated. What the frick? I can't do anything in here though. Maybe I'm not supposed to be in here. I don't know what the deal is. I can just see this stuff. Weird. I don't know if I don't know if that's a thing or what, but like maybe maybe it's a glitch. I don't know. But uh in true Orwellian fashion, we have no idea what the hell is going on. All right, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk soon, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.